Now, the search engine giant Google is again being accused of favoritism towards US presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton, and in particular, hiding growing concerns about her health. With more on this, here's RT's Caleb Moppin. Ever since this video emerged, questions about Clinton's health have been raised across the United States. Some have said it's like a mini seizure. What does it look like to you? It looks to me, I'm also concerned about this concussion she had in 2012. It could be a post-concussion syndrome. You know, your balance is off, you, you, you're dizzy all the time, your memory is off, you're not thinking clearly. The picture that you showed as she's going up the stairs uh, speaks a million words. So is she really fatigued? Is she uh, dehydrated? This has become one of their themes. Here, you take my, take my pulse while I'm talking to you. Okay. Um, so, uh, make sure I'm alive. Oh my and God, there's nothing there's there. There's nothing there. But look what happens when I type Hillary Clinton's health into Google. According to their auto search feature, it's not an issue. Yet, look what happens in other search engines. Now, we asked Google why this was, and they told us that their auto search feature is specifically edited to avoid disparaging and offensive content. It wasn't exactly clear what's considered disparaging or offensive about Hillary Clinton's health. Though it is interesting to note that Eric Schmidt, one of the former CEOs of Google and a top stockholder in the corporation, is also a prominent supporter of Hillary Clinton's campaign. Secretary Clinton, welcome back to Google. It's great to be here, Eric. Thank you. You've uh, grown a little bit since I've been here last. Just a I, little. Are you talking about my weight? <laughs> when she was Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton was calling out foreign governments for trying to control cyberspace. They've expunged words, names, and phrases from search engine results. Countries that restrict free access to information risk walling themselves off from the progress of the next century. But even in the land of the free, details continue to emerge showing that the way information is made accessible on the internet is not random, but intentionally manipulated. Whether it's the news curators who decide what gets trending on Facebook, or big corporations hiring teams of people to edit Wikipedia, the internet isn't a free market of ideas where everything gets an equal shot at going viral. This is influencing U.S. elections, influencing who's going to run the country. So I think there has to be a little bit more transparency and people realizing and understanding the power that Google, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all these very powerful uh, online entities have in controlling information flow. They might actually have some political leanings that are making their information flow online biased. If the influential people on the Internet are all lining up behind one person and controlling what information we receive, does this mean that democracy has, for the lack of a better term, been hacked? Caleb Maupin, RT. Washington, D.C.